by the end of 2012, I was almost neglecting the ocean, which is so horrible because the ocean is the love of my life, pretty much. Yeah, I've been surfing since I was 10 and I've always loved the ocean so much. And so by the end of last year, when I guess I sort of burnt out and I just kind of didn't really know who I was anymore. And it's such a, a weird feeling not knowing. Wow, it's only important way for Laura. That's not going to be an advantage. That's not going to be enough for Laura. That's going to end Laura in of his campaign. I think she'd be kind of disappointed with that. To be honest, I don't know what to expect out of this year, but I think that's the beauty of it. I have this opportunity, and I obviously want to take my competitive surfing as far as I can but there's so much more that I can see and do and experience and it, there's so much that I don't know and that sort of not knowing makes me so excited. I just want this year to be life changing, I just want it to really mean something. I just want to be able to look back and be like 2013, that was the year that I opened my eyes and it changed me, that's what I want it to be. Trying to talk? Just. LA. Kind of nervous. Yeah, what, do you, what do you think we should put in the first, the first section? Like, I'm thinking like the waves. The arriving on the Gold Coast, the waves, then the ASP banquet. And there's kind of a lot happening. There's heaps happening, actually. I'd save the train girl. I actually, this might be inappropriate, but I thought Laura Annabar might win for that bottom turn. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's all. When I was nine years old, I wanted to get my first surfboard. So I decided to start busking at the Roxy Pro, dancing to a boombox with a hat out. All of a sudden, this girl started to dance with me. The next thing I knew, she was giving me her surfboard. That girl was Laura Enova. From that day on, we became really good friends. She's like a big sister to me. This is me. My name is Pacha. Today was my 12th birthday party and Laura came to hang out with me and my friends. We ate cake, we ate watermelon, we painted Laura's surfboard, we danced really silly and Laura got me a super cool present. I was so stoked. be very very lucky because that's like a full-on pro surfer and she's given up some of her time to go to a little grommet's birthday party so yeah it was really amazing
I always feel like really confident coming into the Roxy Pro because I just know that I, I don't know, everything seems just to work for me there and I, the atmosphere it makes me so excited and it's the first contest of the year so everyone's sort of watching and everyone's taking everything in so it's, it is really important to try to get a good, good start. Setting it up. It just smashes it off the top there. The cost to be hit to a 7.73 to see what she can do here. But she's not going to give up. Oh. That's not going to be enough for Laura. And uh, finishing up with an equal ninth, not her best effort. I think she'd be kind of disappointed with that. I've always started off at Snapper incredibly. I mean, in 2011, I came third, and in, and in 2012, I came second. So it was pretty, it was, it was definitely devastating to walk away with a ninth in the contest that I thought was my one that I could actually show my potential the best. But I mean, even if I make mistakes, I want to keep my head up and I want to just go on to the next contest. And I think the main thing is that I want to do as well as I can, but I want it to be about the people I meet, the experiences, the joys, the laughs, the smiles. And there's been so many moments up here that I've just been so touched and just had the most incredible time and just, just really felt really, I felt really happy. Like girls like Pasha, they seriously, her smile just made me realize that Winnie is not everything. Winnie isn't everything to me. I, I want to do as well as I can, but there's so much more out there in life and I really want to experience it and just, I feel like they were, they were giving me that sort of joy that I used to have as a 12 year old and I think it's so important to have that. In a photograph, you're lying in the sun is shining. It reminds me of a time when you loved me. In a picture frame, our picture remains a memory. The never ending, never ending. In a postcard, I sent from far away from it all. It was worse than before. Their smiles and their love and their everything, it's. It inspires me. They inspire me just as much as, yeah, I guess I want to inspire them. Mm -hmm.